Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Discourse with Dobson. I'm Mr. Dobson, and today I'm bringing you a very brief guide about Stardew Valley and how to meet almost every single villager on the first day. When I play this game, which I don't play it very often, I'm a little bit obsessive about this. I like to complete the first quest that you're given as fast as possible to get rid of the annoying notification in the top right hand corner. So in the morning of day one, I almost immediately leave my house, I use the overpass, and I head to Linus's place to meet him around 6.30. Following this, I head straight down into town. Not exactly taking this scenic route, but... Once we reach town, specifically this specific area of town, we need to wait until 8 o'clock to enter George's house. And the reason why is because we're going to use that time to meet George, Evelyn, and Alex. The problem is that I have about half an hour to kill or so, so in this case I'm just using the time to raid some of the garbage cans. You can find items in the garbage cans in this game. And I guess I'll just use this brief opportunity to recommend that if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. Perhaps you could leave a like on the video or tell me what you think about the video. Perhaps you enjoy playing Stardew. At eight o'clock, we go inside and we meet Evelyn. We speak with George as well. And going to the top of the screen, we catch Alex as he's leaving his room. After meeting with these three, the plan is to wait outside the saloon and meet Shane, Penny, and Gus all within the span of about 10 minutes or so. So we've just met Shane, we move to the right here, we speak with Penny, and we wait outside the saloon until Gus comes out. After greeting Gus, I make my way over to the Cinder Snap Forest. But before entering that section of the map, we're going to meet Marnie, just outside of Jody's house. This is kind of a unique part of the way that I've routed meeting all of the villagers on the first day, in that our goal being here is to wait until 11 o'clock so that we can meet Jazz. The problem is that there's a good two hours of wait time, so what you could do if you were in my shoes is do some foraging in the forest. So you could chop some lumber, you could pick some dandelions, you could use your scythe to gather some grass. Um, if you get lucky, you might find maybe a parsnip or two. Perhaps you can use your pickaxe to break open a rock. Either way, we have until 11 a.m. before we can meet Jazz. That's when she comes out of her room. As I stated before, I like to do this on the first day so that I free up some of the time that it would otherwise take me meeting some of the villagers on other days so that following day one, my primary goals are to get my farm up and running off the ground. The way that I've also routed this meet all the villagers route is I've given you enough time that at the end of the day you still have enough energy and enough time to clean up some of the debris on your farm, such as chopping more grass, breaking apart more lumber, mining some of those stones, just so that you can have a little bit of space to plant the initial seeds that you're given. At 11 o'clock, we enter the house, and without trying to be too much of a creep, we speak with Jazz as she leaves her room. After this, we're going to skip talking to Leah. We're going to go back to the main square. And we're going to speak with Haley here. We're going to ignore Sam, as I can catch up with him in a little bit. And I'm going to greet Vincent and Jody inside their home. After speaking with them, we can go outside, we can catch up with Leah, 
And then we can head to the main square and see Sam walking off to the right. From this point, I tend to go and I speak with the people inside of Pierre's general shop. So this includes Pierre himself, Abigail, and Caroline. That backpack looks like something I should probably buy fairly soon. Free up some more inventory space. But that will just come with time. We move over to the right here. We say hello to Caroline. And from here, we're going to leave Pierre's general shop. And we're going to head to the left almost immediately so that we can catch Harvey as he starts to patrol on the left side of the square. After we've spoken with Harvey, I go back down south and I speak with Emily, who is in the house next to Jody's. Nice computer. After speaking with Emily, it's time to go check out the beach, which is where we'll find Elliot. And if we're fast enough, we might have time to grab a few items that we can forage from the sand. So now we've met Elliot. I could have probably grabbed a few more things on the beach, given that I'm not super strapped for time here, but I kind of rushed it and I moved on. From the beach, we're going to cross the lower bridge so that we can go and speak with Clint inside of his little workshop blacksmith area. He's not a very talkative guy. From here, we're going to go north. And we're going to enter the evil, tumultuous Joja Mart. And the reason why we're going into Joja is so that we can speak with ha Pam. I almost said ham there, not ham. Pam, who is probably browsing for some alcohol. We're going to cross the North Bridge and then go upwards towards the stairs in order to meet Maru, who is just coming south from her house. And from here, we're going to continue going back north. There is a house here, and there are two people to meet inside, one of which is Demetrius. The last of which is Sebastian, who is currently in his room for another 20 to 30 minutes, hanging out at his dual screen computer setup. Earlier when I was talking about how I could have probably foraged a few more things on the beach, this is kind of what I meant. Here I have a little bit of waiting time. Trying not to be too creepy, meeting him right as he opens his door. He might have a heart attack here, but let's hope he doesn't. And that, my friends, is all of the villagers that you can meet on the first day. The only villager that you can't meet on the first day is Willie. He's the fisherman down by the beach. What I'm about to show you is that when you go down to the beach, going through the town, if you interact with his door, you'll notice that he tells you that he'll be back tomorrow. He's currently out on a fishing trip. On the second day of Stardew Valley, I believe you end up getting a letter. I can't remember exactly. But you get a letter that says something along the lines of, how Willie wants you to come down to the beach to go fishing, and that's where you get your fishing rod. I also forgot to mention, there's a few villagers that you meet right off the bat. They're automatically tracked in the quest. But you can end the first day with a ton of time still left over that you can use to do whatever you want. And tomorrow we'll meet the final villager. Thank you very much for watching this short little guide about how to meet every villager in Stardew Valley on the first day, aside from Willie, of course.